Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome again to join our summit. Over the last few years, artificial intelligence, AI, has become a high-frequency word. AI is enabling us to deal with new challenges and pursue better lives. Even today, during the prevention and control of the COVID-19 pandemic, artificial intelligence is playing a vital role in facilitating virus analysis, drug research and development, intelligent temperature measurement, as well as auxiliary diagnosis. With our long-term experience in designing applications utilizing AI, Huawei now provides Fusion Solar 6.0 Plus Utility Smart PV Solutions. Fusion Solar consists of the 185 KTL Smart String Inverter, SACU Smart Array Controller for Data Transmission and Control, STS Smart Transformer Station for High Voltage Connections, and the Fusion Solar Smart PV Management System for real-time monitoring and management. Today, I would like to introduce you to our latest progress and how we deploy artificial intelligence in Fusion Solar. Let's start with Huawei's Smart Tracker Control Algorithm. Conventionally, the module tracker system and the inverter are two worlds apart. Inside the tracker controller, Conventional astronomical calculations and backtracking algorithms only try to follow the sun regardless of the conditions in the plant. Inner row shading can occur when the sun is low and the ground uneven. And in cloudy days, the tracking system is trying to follow a sun which isn't even there. And that is hardly the optimal way to harvest energy from the modules. Particularly when you are using bifacial panels. So to improve the tracker control, Huawei has integrated AI. We employ a neural network and a self-learning model to continuously sample the sensor data such as voltage, current, irradiation, temperature, wind speed, etc. in real time and locally at the plant. This creates a closed loop between the tracker and the module and the inverter with the tracker algorithm. For example, in the morning and in the evening, the control algorithm will control each row individually to avoid inner row shading. And when clouds roll in, the algorithm can sense the change in the radiation and figure out that we are now in diffuse light conditions. It automatically repositions the trackers to a new optimum angle that is not necessarily facing the sun to harvest more energy from the diffuse light. We have tested this technology in PV plants in different latitudes all over the Chinese mainland. Results show that compared with standard helioscopic tracking, the smart tracking algorithm can improve energy generation by 0.5 to 1.3%. We have also used AI to reduce O&M complexity and OPEX with smart IV curve analysis. Compared with a conventional solution that uses on-site sampling tests and time-consuming manual analysis, smart IV curve analysis can drastically shorten the diagnosis time from weeks to half a day. AI learned this expert knowledge and can accurately identify 14 types of string failures, which is also certified by TUV. The diagnosis can further provide troubleshooting solutions to close the loop in your O&M process. This function has now been deployed in 5 gigawatts of PV plants worldwide. Huawei continues to upgrade the algorithm to shoot more and more scenarios. In this year, the fourth generation can support diagnosis of mono, poly, bifacial and shingled PV modules. And it is also compatible with mixed installations where different PV modules are in one string or in a Y-branch connection. This year, I am very excited to launch this new AI algorithm on grid connection. As the LCOE of PV continuously decreases, solar is expected to become a major energy source. According to IEA's outlook in 2019, in the near future, over 30% of all newly installed power plants on an annual basis will be a PV plant. However, this influx of renewable energy access is pushing out the traditional generators like thermal power plants in many countries. In addition, PV plants are usually constructed remotely 
and they are generally in far away situations from the power grid with consumers. Therefore, we can find that the short circuit ratio of some regional power grids will become lower and lower. Or in another way, more and more regions will, save new, will see a new challenge of the weak grid. And this chart on the right is based on Bloomberg's prediction of renewable energy penetration in several regions. It is expected that between 2025 and 2030, the short circuit ratio in some countries will be lower than 2. Huawei has been researching the grid connection of PV technology for many years and has invested heavily in the precise insights into the power grid status and improving control accuracy. Currently, Huawei has achieved what we call stable grid connection in all scenarios. The value of this technology to customers is that site selection under the conditions of a changing power grid is not affected. The algorithm supports stable grid connections in weak power grids with a short circuit ratio down to 1.5 and it improves higher fault write through capabilities. At the same time, it improves the power quality by suppressing current harmonics to less than 1%. In the weak grid connection testing, the output waveform of Huawei inverters is still stable when the short circuit ratio is 1.5. The output waveforms of other string inverters become distorted when the short circuit ratio is already 3 and the inverters can work only with reduced power or switch even off for self-protection. In terms of power quality, in a real power grid with background harmonics, Huawei inverters can ensure that the THDI the current harmonic distortion, is less than 1%. In comparison, other string inverters can barely achieve the claimed THDI of less than 3% even in laboratory conditions. In real power grids, the harmonics of such inverters can surge to more than 9%. Besides the testing results, we know that Australia's new standard in February 2019 is the world's most stringent grid standard in the world. Huawei has helped its customers to get the first admission to the new grid standard for an 85 megawatts PV plant in Victoria. The approval time for this project was only 50% compared to other solutions. In China this year, the Huawei Sun 2000 inverter was the first to meet the new technical requirements for grid connected inverters, which calls on higher requirements on high voltage ride through low voltage right through and frequency adaptation. And another real case occurred in the northeastern China in April this year. A 100 megawatts central PV plant was built and grid connected in the end of last year. Later, a smaller PV plant of 20 megawatts was grid connected nearby, which utilizes Huawei's smart PV solutions as well. In April of this year, a grid fault with a phase-to-phase -phase short circuit occurred and further led to a low voltage condition in this local grid. Both plants managed to stay online and ride through the fault, even in a situation that was far beyond laboratory simulations. So what we learned from this case, for a long-term PV plant operation in a daily changing grid scenario, a grid inverter with a strong grid connection algorithm becomes particularly important. For many rooftop projects, we know that one of the key challenges in building safety is electric arcing. Electric arcing is a breakdown of air that produces a high temperature electrical discharge. It can occur in unreliable soldering joints within the PV modules, in broken PV cables or in loose PV connectors. Because of the intense temperatures of up to 3000 degrees Celsius, electric arcing can easily start a fire. Moreover, these arcs are very hard to detect since the arcing signal can be as small as 0.1% compared to the normal voltages and currents inside the PV system. For this challenge, Huawei has introduced the AI-powered active arcing protection last year. Very much similar to how computers can learn to recognize faces, Huawei intelligence, artificial intelligence is continuously self-learning how to detect the specific signals of electric arcs under any condition. And when a real potential arcing risk occurs via its local neural networking algorithm, it can accurately detect and judge 
whether it is a real or false alarm. When a real arc is detected, the inverter will shut down immediately, which will extinguish the arc as well. The entire process from detection to shutdown system takes less than half a second, which is well within the standard requirements of two and a half seconds. The proof of the pudding is in the eating, so let's demonstrate this now. At the left hand side, we see a real arcing simulation in our lab without AFCI protection. We can see the DC arcing is continuously burning and it is posing a fire risk. On the right hand side, we turned on the AFCI protection. With the same electric arcing conditions, we can see that the arc extinguishes almost immediately and the inverter is shut down and the monitoring system reports the problem in real time. The system is now safe and a trained installer can now go to the installation to fix the problem and eliminate the risk. As digital technologies and renewable energy are reshaping the world, we firmly believe that our society will become intelligent within the next three decades. Powered by AI technologies, the PV industry cannot stay behind and it will be reconstructed and redefined. In the new world, where everything is sensing, connected and intelligent, solar power will become greener and more vibrant. Thank you for your time.